Hello guys and welcome in another Unity 3D tutorial on YouTube here on my channel. So um, today I'm going to show you because uh, this uh, has been requested a lot. So today I'm going to show you how to create an enemy with a uh, navigation system uh, in Unity with pathfinding. So yeah, uh, let's just start. So um, this uh, is very useful component or a uh, tool in Unity uh, that fa that uh, allows uh, enemies to uh, find player and uh, avoid obstacles and that uh, and that kind of stuff. And in Unity 5, it's so much better than it was in Unity 4. So uh, I wanted to show you because it was requested a lot how to make enemy, and uh, this is very good. So you don't have to create your own system for enemy like using character controllers to not go through things and it's very glitchy so this is very cool very cool thing in unity so uh, let me just start uh, first uh, you're gonna I set up this uh, kind of labyrinth so just uh, show, to show you how it works how it will avoid obstacles and um, this is my player inside if you don't know how to do it just you you type in FPS to just drag your first person controller in ca inside but um, if you don't have it you go to assets import package and um, it should be under characters and it's named FPS controller but I have my own from uh, past tutorials inside so uh, first thing we'll do uh, we'll go here. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll select every object, every solid object that you want your enemy to avoid. And I'm going to select my plane and all of the cubes that are uh, representing the labyrinth. So let me just select all of the cubes over here. You can select it uh, by pressing Control and just selecting or Shift to select multiple at once. And you want to say it all to static so that means that they won't move and so the enemy know what won't move what is uh, an obstacle that he will be avoiding not pushing or something in HTML or a few other languages that uh, this is very the same in uh, multiple languages fixed will be something that will be moving and will be uh, keeping the position so uh, when you did that set them to static you want to go to window and you want to you want to uh, choose the navigation so and then you want to uh, then this will pop up so uh, this uh, is just a manager that will uh, that you can uh, tell what you you can set a few options so the agent radius how what's the radi uh, radius of your agent on your enemy but we haven't done yet that yet so we'll just keep it to default we'll just click bake so when it will bake it you will probably have to wait a few uh, few seconds if you have a lot of objects but as you can see the blue is the walkable area and what's not blue is not walkable so it will he will be able to go all around here to here but he won't be able to go uh, here around so but that's okay you can mess with the settings if you have time this is just a tutorial so I'll set it like this now what we need is a enemy so game object create 3d object and capsule and I want to drag my capsule down over here uh, keep in mind that let me go to inspector that you uh, need for your enemy to have a mesh renderer otherwise it won't work uh, now when you done that I'll just apply a material that will know it's an enemy so red material I guess okay so that's our enemy now red so we know it's dangerous now add a, add a component nav mesh agent nav mesh agent okay so we'll change a few things here we'll change the radius because uh, otherwise if we, you have a lot of enemies they will look like they're just going in a straight line so change the radius a bit I'll just leave it like this hate I'll leave it like this because it's perfect base offset uh, I don't need that because otherwise it will be it would be 
yeah it would be weird to have it on half and half wouldn't be covered so uh speed i'll set it to two that's too fast i think 3.5 angular speed i won't mess with that acceleration eight okay stopping distance we set it to 1.7 it's my default stopping distance it, i think it works the best so uh high quality yeah and other other things are just cool so you now want to add a component i create uh i think it was enemy and then nav enemy no just let me enemy tutorial yes I'll rename it uh, so but uh, this is just the default name I gave it so if you open the enemy store I'll s leave the link in the description you'll see this script here so let me just quickly explain it to you that a variable target is a transform player so it's uh, transforming the position so that we we need transform not game object or something else uh, nav component is nav our nav mesh agent and uh, max distance is uh, how much uh, away uh, our player can be so it chases him I just uh, changed a bit the script so let me just explain it to you so uh, target you we could set, say this is variable target but okay it's a target uh, game object dot find with tag player so it will find uh, an object that's tagged player so you have to tag your play uh, tag your uh, first-person control player and nav component it will find our nav mesh agent so that's also very suitable so you if you spawning enemies it will automatically find the nav mesh agent and it will automatically find the player so that is why I've done this and let me just delete this thing here and need that I don't know what I'm why I'm writing this really because basically nobody needs this and it will find a nav mesh agent in the function update if target so that means if uh, game o if it finds the game object with that player uh, and uh, distance what yes I called it twice if the this then the distance to the target uh, from target to our transform uh, from player to our enemy because that is on our enemy it's uh, less than the max distance less than five uh, and if target is player so if it's it's tagged player the nav component so our enemy will set the destination to target that position which is our player so let me just close this save the save save and close okay and you don't have to set anything here if you uh, if you told uh, just uh, go to player and tag add a tag player so and then tag it player so otherwise it won't work and uh, you don't have to set the nav mesh agent max distance you can set to anything I'll set it to five but actually to four okay so now if I play uh, it's not chasing me because I have to be enough close uh, otherwise it won't chase me uh, as you can see it chases me, it chases me now but it stops now because I'm not enough close so but it it is avoiding all the obstacles and that's a good sign okay let me just as you can see it's avoiding the obstacles perfectly so uh, yeah um, uh, actually it's working working pretty well and uh, thank you for watching guys uh, hope you enjoyed hope I answered your question how to make an EA or an enemy and uh, hope you liked the video if you have any questions please uh, uh, ask me on my mail or in the comment section bye